Cities around the globe are limiting our use of plastic carrier bags, and science is wondering if that's really helping the environment at all. Hey gang, Trace here for D News. When was the last time you were at a grocery store and heard someone ask you paper or plastic? It seems like in a lot of places that phrase is long gone. Plastic bags are pretty much ubiquitous, although they're being taxed and banned in a number of cities. And the National Center for Policy Analysis is seeing if those taxes are worth the cost. The NCPA looked at six American cities that have bag laws and assessed if they decrease trash costs in those areas. The results weren't so shiny happy. Here in DC, for example, they added a five cent tax to the plastic grocery bags, with funds being used to clean up the Anacostia River. Subjectively, I do use fewer bags. I bring reusable bags with me to the store and generally see fewer around town. And anecdotally, the people cleaning the river say that they have seen fewer bags clogging the shores. But this is where science reveals what our eyes don't always see. When we ban plastic bags, we often replace them with paper and reusable bags. They cost the city more money. Paper bags do biodegrade, unlike plastic bags, but they're 10 times heavier and they take up more space in city landfills. Reusable bags are often made in China and then shipped here, and they're made with a similar process to the thin plastic bags. So carbon footprint, eh, not so awesome. In Brownsville, Texas, plastic bags have a $1 tax levied against their use, and from 2004 to 2012, their waste fees increased almost 91%. They are not saving any landfill monies at all. That seems to be the case. We are also not saving landfill space. Plastic bags are less than 0.5% of the waste stream and depending on the landfill, paper bags may not have a chance to biodegrade anyway. If they're buried under too much other refuse, the microbes that are supposed to eat away at the paper won't get to them in time. Now, there are other sides to this policy. Five years ago, Rwanda banned thin plastic bags in the whole country. Before the ban, the country claimed to have these non-biodegradable sacks blowing around everywhere. There was plastic clogging the waterways and covering agricultural spaces. Now, the capital is one of the cleanest in Africa, which adds to their tourism, productivity, and national pride. In Bangladesh, 9.3 million plastic bags were dumped every year in the city of Dhaka, with only 10% making it into trash receptacles. The city flooded at least twice because that 90% found their way into sewers and drains, which clogged them. I'd argue that we didn't ban plastic bags to make money. We did it to protect the environment. As of 2001, somewhere between 500 billion and a trillion plastic bags were used every single year on our planet, and they never biodegrade. Instead, they photodegrade, which means the sun breaks them down. UV light breaks the molecules into smaller and smaller pieces of plastic until they're invisible to the naked eye, but they never disappear. Scientists assume this takes between 500 and 1,000 years, but plastic bags have only been around for 50, so we're not entirely sure, but regardless, it's a long time. Ask the people of 2463, because they'll still be feeling our plastic bags from 1963. How do you feel about this? Is this a lose-lose situation for consumers? What do we do? Tell us what you'd do below and subscribe for more D News.